Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to another Dino up weekly update. Uh, 139 was released. Uh, last week I talked about the web GPU feature. That's kind of the flagship uh, feature and the Dino coverage uh, improvements. Uh, but I wanted to call out some other stuff. It's a, a lot of changes in this, this release. So uh, I'd encourage you to check out the blog post. But we added a bunch of new uh, built-in node APIs, and this is unblocking compatibility with a lot of NPM modules. In particular, this uh, create private key API was important. Uh, also, this VM run-in context is, is now working in Dino. So this should uh, actually unblock quite, quite a few use cases. Um, we're also deprecating some built-in Dino APIs this release. Uh, Dino.reader and Dino.writer in particular. These are kind of an alternative to web streams that were uh, very early on put into Dino that are based on the Go APIs, the, the Go uh, interfaces. Um, yeah, I, to be honest, I consider these superior to web streams, but uh, because we focus on web standards and, and wants to interact well with browser JavaScript, we've uh, deprecated these and are encouraging people to use web streams instead. <clears throat> uh, there is a new flag in 139 that kind of adds to these other flags here uh, that helps with import compatibility with Node. So the new flag is, is unstable sloppy imports, but we've also have this uh, unstable unsafe proto and unstable BYONM. So these flags enable various unsavory behaviors that come from Node. <laughs> and uh, the sloppy imports in particular allows Dino to understand extensionless imports and directory imports with next uh, index.js files. Uh, the unstable unsafe proto enables this uh, object prototype underscore underscore proto underscore underscore, which is considered a security problem. And uh, in Node, they have it enabled by default, but provide a flag to uh, to opt out of it. Uh, it's the opposite in Dino. We consider this this very unsafe, uh, and and for security reasons, have it disabled by default. But we provide this this flag to as an escape hatch. And this BYONM essentially allows Dino to understand uh, node module directory uh, installations and pull NPM packages from there. So using a combination of these things, you get very close to uh, native node compatibility. And it's important to note that we're somewhat principled in Dino, right? We're, we are trying to push JavaScript forward. And so although this is a little bit more difficult to get compatibility with Node, uh, we're trying to push people towards uh, a better future for JavaScript uh, rather than just uh, continuing all, all of the, the uh, poor decisions that, that were made in, in the past in, in JavaScript. So uh, it's nice to have these flags available to uh, opt into uh, various various behaviors. Um, we also released a comparison of various managed databases uh, this week. And uh, this is just to kind of highlight where Dino KV stands in the picture uh, compared to uh, Upstash and Firestore and DynamoDB and Cloudflare KV. Um, and uh, here, here we're kind of measuring tail latency where smaller is better. And, and you can see that the read latency on Dino KV is very good. Um, and the write latency is also very good here. Uh, we have a price comparison table that, you know, you should pause the video and, and take a look at in more detail. Dino KV is not the cheapest option here, but kind of lays in the middle of the pack, but it definitely is the, the fastest option here. Uh, so, you know, I think uh, prices would improve with, with kind of economies of scale with, with Dino KV. Uh, this is just, just helping people make a decision here. Uh, hopefully this system that we've built on top of Foundation DB 
is uh, both ergonomic and, and useful, but you know also competitive in, in terms of, uh, of latency and, and price. Uh, finally, I wanted to call out that Dino2 is coming. Uh, we uh, have talked about Dino2 for, for a long time, years even, uh, and I have a new estimate <laughs> that, that it will be released uh, sometime around April. And it is currently under heavy development, has been for, for the last couple of months. Um, you might be able to see some of this development in the Dino repository if you look carefully, where we are uh, kind of sliding in little, little tidbits in there. Uh, and one feature is called JSR. Uh, I won't say any more about what, what that is right now, but uh, Dino2 is coming. So you can look forward to that later, this, later in 2024. Um, so that's it for this update. Rrrr.